4,175 pounds on a chilly Michigan morning, although hopefully it's a little warmer when uh, you come to meet us. This is a Rockwood 21DK here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, the uh, This is really about the closest thing you're going to find from Rockwood with like an outside kitchen, but it's close enough that I, I think it does fit the descriptor. If you'd like to see if we have one of these in stock and available, it's very simple. All you need to do is click the link in the video description. It says check for price and availability. Uh, you're one click away from seeing what we have in stock, how it is equipped, and what we're asking because the one in stock could be a little different from what you see here, guys. This is an example of one 21DK at Halet RV, not necessarily the 21DK here at Halet RV. Um, what do we mean by that? Well, we put a power tongue jack on this one. We put a, a full champagne colored skin package on this one, which is kind of cool because it actually, the uh, the roof membrane color keys to that. It's not still a white skin. It actually matches the rest of the trailer. And that's really the story of Rockwood. They go all the way. It's more than just skin deep. The areas that you can't see, feel, touch, they're still doing things for you. And that's one of the uh, things that I, I, I like about Rockwood RV. They're not the le least expensive hybrid out there. They're probably one of, if not the very most expensive hybrid out there, yet they're the most successful hybrid out there. Rockwood's the number one selling ultralight in the United States of America. Isn't that something? Why is that? That's the question I want to answer here. And remember, at any time, please call our team. You know, if you have questions, I don't care where you live, California, Florida, Texas, whatever, these things are in wheels. We can make it happen. You know, we don't pay $3,000 of shipping to get it here like a local dealer might in those faraway areas because Rockwood doesn't have um, West Coast production. They only have Indiana production. So they're my neighbor, you know. We just, I guess, as close as you can get to a hometown advantage, we pretty much have it. So hybrid campers are known for a lot of things, but outside storage is not one of them. That's why I keep hovering around this little pocket here. It actually goes back a little ways, not so far that you can't reach. They didn't get silly with it, but they opened up anything they could for storage because it is so, so important. And notice that even these little supplementary baggage doors are still magnet latched. That's just what Rockwood does. The, the frameless uh, side windows, you know, for uh, rainy day ventilation, because you can tilt those things open for ventilation, uh, with the exception of that one right there, is just for visibility. Now, um, your uh, up top, you see that black fin sticking up there, like old Tiburon or whatever. Uh, actually, they're not black tips. It doesn't matter, sorry. I've been watching too much Shark Week. Oh my gosh, I've been dreaming in Shark Week lately. Um, the uh, Max Air fans in the bathroom of a Rockwood and in the living room of a Rockwood. That's what's cool about a Rockwood Roo. You get two of these things. It's the bigger vent fan, not the four inch little plastic fan, but the full size fan. Um, and they include the rain vent cover right from the factory. That's what's nice because now the factory is guaranteeing the work, not a dealer or an aftermarket part supplier. Now we believe in our team and we stand behind our work at Halet RV, but unfortunately, not every dealer has those kind of ethics and morals, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, the uh, outside hookups right here, all in one easy reach location is another thing I like about this Rockwood here at Halitz. Um, we carry, most of our, actually Rockwood comprises the vast majority of our hybrid sales though. We do have a, a select number of floor plans from the Jayco Jayfa that are complement the Rockwoods. Uh, we do have access also to two other brands of uh, hybrids from both Coachman and Keystone. But I want to draw your attention down here to this suspension. You notice how there's no chuck in between. This is not a leaf spring suspension. This is a four wheel independent rubber ride torsion suspension system. Not just torsion axle, but torsion suspension. This is another thing Rockwood set the tone on, and at this point in the market, most brands of hybrids have adopted it, but your hybrid bed locks, they put these handles down here where you can actually reach it, because it's not easy. If, you know, I'm a little over six foot tall, and I'm still on my toes when I reach up that high. Plus, you got an easy key lock right here, and that key lock is actually the same as your baggage door, so it's just easy to manipulate. You'll notice there's no straps, there's no pulls, there's no Velcro, there's no pulleys. You don't have to do any algebra to set up the bed ends on a Rockwood. You know, you don't have to calculate the hypotenuse of the square or anything stupid like that. You just flop the bed down, put up the shepherd's hook, which is that pole that keeps the bed end up, and you're done. It's supposed to be easy. There's an R in recreation, all vehicles. Recreation, you know. Fighting with a hybrid bed is not, 
no one's idea of recreation. Now, little detail stuff too. Down here, for instance, three things I want to point out just right on the tail of this rockwood under this uh, fully laminated bed deck. Another outside storage compartment that kind of runs under the foot or headboard or whatever you want to call it of the rear bed. A hard shell spare tire cover, something that's going to help, uh, you know, keep the spare tire protected from the sun. And it's not going to get shredded up like uh, a cloth fabric uh, tire cover. And all LED lighting, inside, outside, upside down. Tail lights, marker lights, everything lights. Um, awning lights. I mean, they put the largest awning they could on here, which is pretty, that's just prototypical Rockwood right there. That's just what these guys do. Biggest thing they possibly can. This is, I guess the message here, this is not the money sensitive ultralight. This is the feature sensitive ultralight. They put every feature they can in it. Budget is a secondary concern at Rockwood. Um, you know, I can promise you, promise you you will find lesser expensive ultralights and hybrids. They're not gonna have half the equipment this has. That's the difference. Um, like I said, this is pretty much, I, I, I kinda call this an outside kitchen. I think it qualifies. We've got our little mini fridge. Now notice too that they actually bracket it down in place so that it's not bouncing around in transit. I see there are brands I've seen forget that fact. They think they close a baggage door and it's not gonna go anywhere. And I think a lot of customers are none the wiser. Now what I do like here though is they left this intentionally open pocket on the side. You wanna throw some stuff in there, some extra outdoor cargo gear type things, you can do that. Now your TV that is inside is on a swing arm mount. The entire swing arm mount can be removed and remounted out here. So you have one TV that's dual purpose. Your TV hookups are right nearby, of course. And then you've got your outside grilling station. So what are the things that comprise an outside kitchen? Well, your two main components are an outside cooker and an outside fridge. Plus now we've got outside TV all protected under our awning. Uh, let me rattle off a couple other fun facts on these. We've got uh, you know, portable solar prep, a little simple plug up front that's actually located right about there. Um, this is all aluminum structure. Uh, this is actually a uh, five-sided laminated structure. The uh, roof has a two inch, it's actually double arch. It's two and a half inch vaulted inside and outside so that you get structure, you get runoff. It, the roof of this is fully walkable. Make no mistake about that. I've been all over Rockwood roofs. I think they're some of the least flexible, strongest roofs I've ever been on. Um, the floor decking, the floor and construction rather, it is built just like a luxury fifth wheel. You've got 5 8 tongue and groove plywood on top of uh, longitudinal uh, aluminum studs that are set 12 inches on center so that you maintain structure, you maintain insulation, you maintain quality, you maintain light weight. It just does everything. They used to laminate their floors, but what they found out is they weren't saving weight, they were only increasing cost. So they moved some of that money around. They didn't make the product cheaper. They didn't just say, oh, let's build a less expensive floor then that's just as good. Um, there are certain times that can happen, but they, they move the money around. And I think you're gonna see that as we go inside. One of the things I like most about this one's the kitchen. Hybrids are not known for having good kitchens, but Rockwood, you know, being the number one producer of hybrids, it's not a you know coincidence. They have a really good kitchen in the 21DK. Interestingly, when this model first debuted, it actually had a door side uh, slide out where the dinette is. Um, they kind of twisted everything around, flipped the kitchen and the dinette to give you the uh, the look that you have here, and it's been very successful ever since. Um, you've got great pantry space, and if you notice, the entirety of the kitchen is in the slide out. This is a pure kitchen slide. Now, if you pay attention to any of the videos here at Halet RV, you'll know that uh, I help spec out and build our Rockwoods. And I specifically build them with no oven. So you're, you're thinking, why is there an oven here? Well, slide outs are very sensitive to, from an engineering standpoint. You have to know really the weight and, and the shape of everything you're gonna put in it. So Rockwood specifically engineered this kitchen with an oven, so they won't mess with it. They won't let you screw up their engineering. It's like sometimes people will call and say, hey, can I just get a different sofa or something in that slide out? And Rockwood goes, no. No, we, we have too much invested in the quality and structure and engineering in our slides to let someone mess with it. So, I mean, that's that's great. They won't let you screw up your own trailer, basically. Now, it's also got a deceptively good countertop space. And that's one of the, the hidden gems that owners of this floor plan after they take it home have commented upon, is they look at it and say, well, I kinda didn't think it had a lot of counter space because people tend to only look here. 
But first of all, this is solid surface. Remember when I said they moved some money out of the floor and put it in other areas? That is one of the primary areas where that money went to. They upgraded the countertops. So solid surface counter with a flush mount recessed sink. And you've got a pretty heavy duty cover on that. So that can actually be used as prep space. And then they continued the prep space adventure by going with a flush mount stove top right here. So that you've always got great, great countertop press. So you've seen that extra little nudge, that extra shelf over there. Plus you've got, you see the appliance outlets back there. And this is one of the areas you can tell how big this countertop is. Stove tops are standardized. They're all the same size because there's only really one or two manufacturers that even make them for RVs. So they're all pretty much the same size so that they can fit into each other's slots. Because this stove manufacturer wants to steal business from the other stove manufacturer. Well, if Rockwood would have to completely re-engineer their campers, their, uh, their, their pitch just became very hard. So they, they make stoves the same size as each other. Well, look at all, you've got like an extra 18 inches of countertop space for appliances, toasters, blenders, I don't know, whatever you bring, coffee maker, oh, there's a big one, oh, there's a big one. I know a lot of people cannot function without coffee, plus extra outlets up front and plywood box drawers that are full extension. I love that Rockwood still even gives you that little simple, inexpensive, inexpensive but super effective um, little utensil organizer right there. Let me close that up. So, <clears throat> as I mentioned outside, this could be different from the one we have in stock. For instance, we upgraded from the standard driftwood interior wood decor to maple. And that does upgrade you to true maple hardwood doors. Um, not just like a, a colored wrap, but that is true maple. We also put the, the hardwood refrigerator insert in here. That's the mocha fabric decor on top of this beautiful wood plank print flooring down here. All of these things can be changed. So this is how we would typically build one, but understand that it could be different when we get one in stock because if we run out, we'll call Rockwood and say, whatever you got, get it to us. So keep that in mind. And sometimes the factory makes changes mid-season. I won't record a video for every individual unit, just buy floor plan. Kind of like when you see a car commercial, guys, that, I don't know, Chevy Impala, whatever, Ford Taurus, whatever it is you see in the car commercials, not necessarily the one on the dealer's lot, now is it? A couple things I want to point out right here, entertainment faces your primary living room seating and obviously very visible from your front bedroom and do remember that entire swing out tv can be removed and remounted outside you've got your uh i call it the brady bunch phone charger station here because you've got all these dif different individual pockets and if you want to download the irv app you can make your phone become a bluetooth wireless remote control for that thing you can be under the awning never have to get out of your chair and monkey with your stereo pause you know what if it, here's a good one here's a great one if you want to watch a movie outside or something like that how do you pause it you'd have to normally get up and come inside not from your phone just thought of that that is awesome um so, sorry sorry for shouting i i do geek out on these things i'm not called josh the rv nerd for nothing um air conditioning 21 foot hybrid camper it's basically a one room cabin and they still still put their double ducted centralized air conditioning that is found in basically every Rockwood except the 19 footers here. How awesome is that? Now on top of that, in the bathroom you'll see another one of these, but I alluded to this outside, these max air ceiling fans that give you just incredible airflow. Plus, you don't have to pay extra for it. You don't, don't get me wrong, I love it when people visit our park shop and uh, you know you spend a little more money with us. I, I absolutely have no shame in saying that. We are a business. I do like to earn your business, but obviously at some point there's a paycheck involved here. I do like to see a reward at some point, just like you folks at home. Um, but those bunk end fan lights right there, they give you that extra light and airflow in a bed end because there's no construction around a bed end. You can't have an air duct and lighting at a bed end. And those things are the easiest, simplest workaround. Those were, for years, they didn't exist. Then somebody came up with them, and holy crap, the whole pop-up and hybrid camping business changed overnight. But Rockwood includes those. Um, we also have heated mattresses in Rockwood Roos here. Hey, let's, that's another thing the Rockwoods do standard that the other guys, if they even option it, you have to upgrade into. Now, Rockwood's not the only one that does this. Remember, almost nothing is completely exclusive ever to any one trailer. It's, it's, does this one have the proper combination and mixture of features that you're looking for? That's why we carry so many different brands. Now Rockwood's little extra things they do again, like the little bonus storage cargo netting, because again, when is more storage ever the wrong answer? <coughs> Pardon me. 
So you got a box full of accessories here, including the uh, the Forest River emblazoned uh, husband whacker. I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. It's what my wife said it's for, and she's right about everything. I'm not going to argue. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> big full U dinette. That's another thing that's really cool on this model right here. You get the big full U dinette. And you still have the same free-floating table as with any other Rockwood. What I like about this, you can fold it down and sleep on it, or you can fold it down and take it outside, and it just became your picnic table with a giant open U lounge. Now, another thing I like to show you, anything that Rockwood builds, even the furniture, is fully aluminum structured, full aluminum skeleton on everything. Keeps Again, not the least expensive hybrid option out there, but... You know, everything's the best in a different way. That's one of the areas they're the best. Um, you know, if you got arthritis, if your hands don't work well, I do like Rockwood's refrigerator doors. They don't use the uh, the secret handshake method where you have to use your thumb and your fingers. Not that it's hard for my hands. But you know what? My, uh, my mother has kind of hand problems, and she just doesn't like the other ones. And this storage right here is awesome. Again, hybrids, not traditionally known for good storage. How many times have I pointed out in this Rockwood already here at Haywood RV how many chunks of extra storage they've provided. Now someone asked, well, the, the, they obviously got stupid and cheap because they didn't take the cabinet all the way to the floor. They could have put drawers there or something. Remember you have a refrigerator outside located there. Inside and outside have to play nice together. The reason that they didn't do anything with that inside is it's like below your knees or waist or whatever. A lot of people don't like to uh, bend over and get down on their hands and knees to get to storage, so they make the storage easily accessible from outside. Now remember when I said uh, outside, they even have exterior storage compartment under the rear bed? That's that area right there. Remember, heated beds. Uh, these bed ends are rated for like 1,050 pounds. It's pretty impressive. They're overbuilt so that, you know, you don't wear them out over time because it is built for long-term use and ownership. <coughs> Pardon me again. Um, bathroom. <clears throat> had to clear my throat there. I've been, I had 21 RVs come in yesterday. I, I can't believe I even have a voice left. Um, the, uh, floor space here, you know, this bathroom is simple, but effective. It doesn't have anything more than it needs, but it is, what it does have is very well done, very classy. Full medicine cabinet. Uh, you see that little shower caddy, that shampoo and soap caddy up there in the shower next to the skylight? Now remember, this does have a vaulted roof, plus that skylight actually gives big guys like me, or ladies as it were, just enough headroom. And remember, the bigger fan with the roof vent cover built right onto it. Now someone's going to ask, uh, well, obviously they cut corners and didn't install all the pieces and parts. That's a towel hanging rack. You know why they don't install it? Because no matter where they install it, someone says it's wrong. So they let you put it where you want. Or, when you take this RV home... Um, we'll install it for you. Now remember, at Halet RV, we don't do hidden dealer fees. When you click through to our website uh, or call our team and ask, hey, what's your price on this one? The question you're not going to get is, what are you trading? We don't do that. The, we, we publish our pricing. We don't do hidden dealer fees. Everything is black and white right in front of you. Uh, the RV will be clean. It will be thrice quality inspected before leaving. No additional cost to you. Uh, you know, we can do everything for you. All we need is the opportunity. Hitching, pieces, parts, financing, trades, accessories, truck and trailer package deals, and everything in between. All we need at Halet RV is just the opportunity to meet you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.